Welcome back to my road to completion guide for Bloodborne. This is episode 11. We're going to head up the steps and interact with the corpse sitting on a chair. That's going to take us into a new area. As soon as we get to the new area, we're going to pick up another trophy called Nightmare Lecture Building. After you pick up the trophy, light the lamp and set up another safety save. So at this point, we need to explore both floors of the lecture building. We're going to start off on the second floor. There's one item that I want you to pick up. It's a bloodstone chunk. In order to pick it up, we just need to run past all these enemies. You can kill them if you want to, if it gets too dangerous for you guys, but it's not necessary. Just keep running past them. Heal when you need to. Make sure that you grab the bloodstone chunk. You can see it up ahead off in the corner. That's the item that you want to pick up. So the next item that we're going to be picking up is a rune that will help us out with stamina management. Now look, I'm not going to be leveling up my stamina throughout this entire playthrough. And if you're a beginner player, you really don't need that much stamina because you're going to be playing more defensively. But if you find yourself wanting to be a little bit more aggressive than what I'm showing in the gameplay, this rune will help you out. Now in order to pick up this room, we just want to drop down to the first floor. There's going to be a spider. For those of you who are familiar with the From Software games, you will know uh, who this character is as soon as he starts talking. I'm not going to spoil it for players who may not have played the other uh, From Software games, but you'll know exactly who this character is. Uh, go ahead and talk to this character, select the second option, and then as soon as you're done talking to him, he will give you the room. Indeed, I should think not. I shared with you a thing most secret. Now, you witness to a mirror, you should have... <laughs> no matter. Such details. Let... Oh, no, doubt me not. So the next item that we need is the lecture theater key. It's on this floor, but I'm going to have you guys touch a lamp before we actually pick up the key. I don't know how badly damaged you were uh, going after that bloodstone chunk on the second floor. So if you need to head back to the Hunter's Dream, fast travel over to Central Yarnum and farm for some blood vials, this is your opportunity. Now the lecture theater key that we're looking for is across the hall. There's gonna be a set of double doors you guys can go through and then you're gonna enter a classroom. At the front of the class is gonna be a corpse sitting in a chair. That's where the lecture theater key will be. So after you have the key backtrack into the main hall, there's going to be a set of double doors as soon as you exit this area. You cannot get into the room that we're trying to get into through this set of double doors. I'm just going to show you that they're locked. See that? They're locked, okay? So what you want to do is head down the hallway and keep looking to the right until you see another set of double doors, and that's where you want to enter, okay? We're trying to pick up another hunter tool. This will be your fifth hunter tool out of nine. You can see these enemies are chasing us, so go ahead and exit. Make it back to the main hall. If you look to the left, there's going to be some windows. If you look to the right, it's a set of double doors. That's the direction that you're heading. There's another set of double doors down there on the right. I want you guys to go in there, look inside the treasure chest, and pick up two red jellies. So now we can exit the lecture building, which will take us to a new area, but we're not going to explore that area. I just want you to light the lamp so we can have that fast travel point for later. We're actually going to return to the hunter's dream, and then we're going to fast travel back to the second floor of the lecture building.
So once you make it to the new area, just follow the path so you guys can exit this cave and then take a right. There's going to be one enemy that, in all my practices of this game, has never chased me, but this time around it did. So you have to be careful, okay? See the enemy with the torch? So if this enemy chases you, you might want to exit your game and continue back in so you can despawn this enemy because we really want to kill the small enemy on the ground because this enemy will drop three bloodstone chunks and we need these. Now I ended up killing the enemy in my game but i'm used to this game guys if this makes you nervous just exit the game continue back in make sure that you kill the small enemy because that's really all we need is those three bloodstone chunks So this entire area is very dangerous because some of the enemies can inflict the status effect called frenzy. You can see in the top center of the screen that bar is filling up. When that bar reaches max, you're going to lose about 70% of your health. So anytime you see that bar filling up, you want to run as fast as possible away from the enemy that put the status effect on you in the first place. Notice how my bar is going down. That's because I'm further away from that enemy so I don't have to worry about frenzy actually kicking in. Your instinct is going to tell you to fight the enemy that's causing you to be frenzied in the first place. But trust me, guys, there's enemies in this area that can grab you. And when they grab you, they're going to be doing constant damage to you, right? Meanwhile, the status bar is filling up for that frenzy to kick in. If they get you down to like 50% health because they grabbed you, now they let you go. Then frenzy kicks in before you have a chance to heal. You are dead instantly. You also have to remember the importance of exiting the game and continuing back in. Remember, anytime you do this, the enemies reset. So let's say an enemy's chasing you and that frenzy bar is filling up and you can't shake them, right? It just keeps filling up. Exit the game. Remember, if you're running away from the enemy, even if they're chasing you, when you exit the game and you continue back in, they're going to be back at their starting location. So if you ran far enough away, you're not even going to have a frenzy bar to worry about. It's immediately going to start going down. So anyway, that's pretty much going to wrap up this episode. We have a little bit more running around that we need to do. There's one more bloodstone chunk that I want you guys to pick up. A Ken Cold Blood 10 that we're going to be picking up. Remember, that's just free blood echoes for you guys. We are going to travel back to the Hunter's Dream, repair our Hunter Axe, and then that's going to wrap up this episode, guys. Hopefully you have enjoyed. I'll see you right back here in episode 12. Be good.